Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of a weird video. There isn't really an immediate direction that this video will be going in. However, it's more so just a bit of a follow-up for the people who are really enthusiastic about the Imagineer Game Boy Pocket that I managed to uh, acquire through Sendico.com. This video is not sponsored by Sendico, however it is sponsored by Audible. So one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video is because I have actually managed to track down a copy of MRC, which is the N64 game that you actually had to play to win this Game Boy Pocket. If you've not seen the video about this Imagineer Game Boy Pocket, check it out up in the cards this way and also have a look in the link in the description as well. So it's a really in-depth video about the story behind this rare Game Boy Pocket and if you are interested, check out that video. But I've managed to find the game. Uh, it's a pretty good condition copy but the manual is the most important thing and it's absolutely immaculate. So we'll check out that in a second. The other cool thing I managed to buy um, which has actually been handmade by a guy on Instagram. I did contact him to try and get a discount code for you, uh, but unfortunately not willing to give you any sort of discount code. He said it's a small business, uh, family-run business, and there isn't a lot of profit involved, so he can't give you any sort of discount code. But if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to his Instagram in the description below. It was a 14 to 21 working day wait. Uh, the two of them together cost just under $50, um, and all you're paying for is just a an acrylic box protector. Uh, so $50 around about for two, and that is not a set price. They get more expensive, obviously, the bigger they are. So if you wanted to protect a Nintendo 64 box, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So I bought two of them. I've also got, you may have seen a video that I made about this, the grey Game Boy Pocket here. Um, box protectors are something that aren't particularly new. I've got one here for this uh, Nintendo 64 box and it just makes it look really nice and shiny and new and obviously it's in the name. It does protect it from uh, you know knocks and dings and catching bits on the corner. But most importantly, that display factor is really something that is obviously quite nice for a collector to have a box uh, being protected by a piece of acrylic. So this box protector was only, I think about three or four pounds. And unfortunately they don't make them for the Japanese Game Boy Pocket boxes. You can get them for the American and uh, PAL releases, obviously. You can get them for everything, Game Game Boy Lights, uh, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Advances, Game Boy Advance SPs. However, for some reason, Game Boy Pockets, the Japanese boxes, don't have a box protector made for them. So I had to go with this bespoke option, which was a rather expensive option, but ultimately, I think it's worth it. So this one box protector cost about £15, which is about $20, but this is a technically speaking a $1,000 Game Boy. Uh, if you wanted to buy one now, you wouldn't even be able to find one for $1,000, but they're roughly sort of between the, uh, the $500 to $1,000 price range. So the low price of $20 seems like a pretty no-brainer price to pay for something that is literally, you know, a th super thick bit of acrylic. Um, I'm going to just unbox you one here because I obviously ordered two and I'll show you how you put it in the box because it is a beautiful little thing. So it was incredibly well packaged, so I obviously appreciate that. It was coming from the UK. If you then order from America, obviously it's going to take even longer, but here it is. So you can immediately see it's a very, very thick acrylic. I'd say that's about five millimeters, maybe a little bit thinner than that. And uh, there's this little bottom sort of piece just slides all the way out. Uh, you might want to give it... Only me, only I would drop that, of course, but drop test because it's absolutely fine. So um, you might want to give it a little wipe after you've touched it and put everything in because it's uh, shiny so it will get fingerprints on it. You chuck your Game Boy in the top like that and then you just slide it back on again. And just like that, look at the state of that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at them. I mean, they just look they look brand new now, and they obviously are very nice and protected. Uh, I've also bought a Famitsu Game Boy Pocket box that was on Sendico. I got it for just under £30, I think, so I'll probably buy another box protector for that as well. So, yeah, anyway, that is the uh, acrylic boxes. Nothing too special. Just thought it was really cool, and I just really wanted to, to show it off in a video. I'm not earning any money or anything through affiliates uh, sales, so it's really just to share something cool with you guys. 
Okay, and speaking of which, let's take a look at MRC. So I did do all the translations. My friend Alex did it for the uh, the actual main video if you want to go and check that out. But um, I thought we could just take a look a little bit more um, at the box. So one of the things we learned in the video is that my Game Boy Pocket was not from this particular game. And that's due to the fact that this game was not as popular as Imagineer had hoped. And they didn't manage to clear the 2,000 units of this Game Boy uh, that they had made. So what they did to get rid of the rest of them, instead of selling them, there was probably some issues with selling an item that had already been given away partially as a prize. They released another game called Medarot and they included the competition within that game. One of the things about the Medarot games though is that it's literally just a little leaflet that you put in four digits that you found within the game and then you post it off to Imagineer and then it's just a lucky draw. So it's not quite as exciting as trying to, you know, win a time trial race and get the lowest race and then send that off. So, I mean, you can be the judge of which one's cooler. Personally, I think winning a race and uh, showing your high score is a pretty goddamn cool one. So this is the actual leaflet in the flesh, in my hands. You can see it glowing there. I've already done the translation for this. Well, Alex has already done it, so I'll put that up on the screen as well. But that pretty much just concludes my little collection and also concludes the video and the mystery that was the Imagineer Game Boy Pocket. Uh, so far, there is no other information about a way that you could have obtained the Imagineer Game Boy Pocket. It's just from Medarot and Multi Racing Championship, but pretty interesting nonetheless. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Big thanks again to Audible for sponsoring this video. One thing I'm pretty bad at is reading. One thing I'm very good at is doing nothing. However, I do enjoy the consumption of fine and exquisite literature, such as David Mitchell's Dishonesty is the Second Best Policy. That's why Audible.com is perfect for me. Listen anywhere at any time from the convenience of your mobile telecommunication device. Each month, Audible listeners get access to one title and two free Audible originals. Audible is the leading provider of spoken word entertainment which doesn't just limit you to books. Exclusive access to Audible originals and constantly updating top 100 means you will never run out of fantastic things to listen to. Text TRF to 500 500 or visit audible.com forward slash TRF to start your 30 day free trial. So there you go, that is going to conclude this little video. I hope you guys don't mind me just having a little catch up and chat with you and some of the things I've been picking up and the information I've been picking up. I uh, hope you'll appreciate it. I don't know. If not, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.